Welcome to Civil Fanatics. Today we'll discuss what is a lintel beam. Its features, its elements and principle used in the design. At the end of this video, you will study the definition of lintel structure, the purpose of lintel structure and the design features of lintel. Now for more updates, please subscribe to our channel. Let's start the tutorial. Lintel A lintel is a horizontal beam structure that is constructed above the openings of the building. Here, the figure shows a concrete lintel beam constructed above a window and a RCC lintel structure constructed above a door. So it is simply a beam structure but it does not have the complete structural uh, features as of a, stru a big structure like a beam that is used as a horizontal member in building frames etc. So it is a small miniature of beam if I say. So it is used to transfer the loads are coming over the openings provided in the buildings. Let us discuss more about the topic. Now, as shown in the figure, the lintel is used to construct and continue the masonry structure above the opening so that the opening provided do not result in structural failures. So as shown in the figure, when you construct the masonry above the opening, without providing a stable or a supporting structure like a uh, lintel beam as shown the opening is a cavity which is a critical section in the building structure so a safer side of building is to provide a beam and continue the masonry structure upwards as the arrow is shown now the loads coming over the opening is safely transferred to the lintel beam to the below floors without the sub without subjecting the opening to any sort of critical loads so it must be clear that openings cavities anything in the wall sections of a building or a structure is considered to be critical so you need to provide special care around such kind of structures now when you talk about design features of linden the first important parameter is the width of the lintel. The width of the lintel is equal to the masonry wall thickness. Now always you provide an end bearing at the ends of the lintel beam supports so that you can easily place the lintel beam without right easily place as well as it is properly bonded with the masonry structure. Now the value of the end bearing is merely dependent on the span of the opening that you are providing and it basically differ from codes, regulations that is being followed in each and every country. So generally a minimum end bearing of 150 mm is provided for a, a, a smaller dimension of lintel beam or for the smallest dimension. So this can vary this can go higher than 150 mm but a minimum value of 150 mm of end bearing is provided so this can be easily explained by a figure uh, in the next slide so here the length of the lintel calculated length of the lintel in the sense the span of the lintel was calculated as the total width of the structural opening plus 150 mm i'll explain with a clear picture now consider the figure now the bearing, the written bearing is actually the support of the particular uh, lintel beam. The clear span given written is the actual dimension of the opening provided. So the opening provided is the clear span. The bearing is the length into which the lintel beam is penetrated or constructed into the masonry wall. So how to calculate the effective span? Effective span is given by the formula clear span plus half the bearing of bearing provided on either sides so it is similar to the below uh, before slide shown that is a clear span of the length of the opening plus 150 mm because if I provide 150 mm on the left 
150 mm on the right sender to sender distance between the bearing will anyway give you 150 plus the clear span so it is i hope it is clear it is similar to the design of a simple beam structure now depth depth of the lintel beam will be similar to what i say normally it is taken to be the uh, the dimension of the bearing that we provide minimum value of bearing we provide is given to be like the depth or the width of the width of the particular uh, lintel beam will be equal to the width of the wall that we have provided now estimating the depth of the lintel beam it is similar to the estimation of the depth of a beam structure rcc beam structure or a steel structure so you have design procedure to determine the uh, effective depth of the uh, lintel beam and also you have to determine the cover from which you find out the total depth it it comes in the design features the design consideration of lintel beam or how to design a lintel beam which will be discussed in the next video so these are the normal parameters associated with a lintel beam structure so you have the clear span effective span bearing the depth etc so in in this picture you have an extra uh, provision of reinforcement detail shown that will be also explained in the next slide now why do we provide bearings for lintel beams bearing is necessary to avoid cracking or uh, in case of lintel beams structural failures or collapse so cracking is the initial uh, it is the actual indication of there is a kind of failure happening to the structure and finally if you don't note it so seriously it is going to result in structural failure or collapse now the lintels helps to reduce the heat loss from the building dampness and the condensation of the building so it is one purpose of providing lintels another proper purpose is the proper construction of lintels help us to avoid thermal bridging or cavity within the building which is another important feature or the purpose of lintel in case of design so these are important design considerations that you must take care while you construct a lintel and design a lintel next we are going to study about the reinforcement detail of a lintel beam so the figure above shows uh, a lintel beam for both door and window placed adjacent to each other they are connected to a concrete bone beam above it so you just ignore the concrete beam constructed avoid we'll just check out how the concrete lintel beam is constructed so in the figure you can see the main reinforcement being provided at the bottom and the top you have the distribution reinforcement uh, that is being provided which connects to the next opening right so i hope it is clear from the figure the next figure shown is a complete detail of a single lintel beam so in the figure you can see the clear span is 2300 millimeters the bearing width provided is 200 mm so you can calculate the effective span as 2300 plus half of the bearing width on either sides so you get 2300 plus 100 plus 100 you get 2500 as the effective depth now once the effective depth is calculated sorry effective span is calculated sorry for the mistake you calculate the effective span next is the effective depth calculation which is already given as 200 mm mm in the figure basically you calculate that as a design procedure and you proceed with the design and the check for the particular design and next is the main reinforcement provided to be four numbers in 10 mm diameters out of which two is provided as a bend up bar top reinforcement provided are two numbers of 10 mm di bar diameters bars anger bars the stirrups provided again shear reinforcement is 6 mm diameter bars two legged stirrups at a spacing of 125 mm center to center so please understand that this design is similar to a simple rcc beam design so you don't have to bo uh, bother about this design steps it's similar to simply supported beam or a design of a concrete beam shear reinforcement check and everything remains the same so you don't have to worry about how it is being designed it is similar to the same so i hope you understand the topic 
Now thanks for watching Civil Fanatics. Now please subscribe for more tutorials and videos. Thank you.